Welcome to Twella of the Dark. We are a channel honoring the yellow and blackened bones of many prominent authors. We will be digging up several obscure, strange, and forgotten authors who influenced many of the great horror, science fiction, and fantasy writers today. Comment below if you like. If you have authors that you'd like to see recognized, list them in the comments or contact our author page. Subscribe for more tales of the horrifying, obscure, strange, and forgotten. We'll have quite a collection climbing out of the tombs. If you like any of our tales, comment, ring the bell, and crush the like button below. Unknown Horror Masters, the Skull and Bones Collection has risen from the grave or beast to be released soon. Find us on Fiverr to raise seven kinds of hell. Check out our other stories and our websites. YouTube, Bitch You, Rumble, Dweller of the Dark. Official website, DwellerofTheDark.com. Kindle Vela, new serialized novels and novelette. Weekly new episodes. Check out links below for Where the Wolf Dwells. The Curious Death of Dionysus Shall Not. Our books and ebooks are on Kindle Amazon. Follow, support us on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, Bandcamp. Dweller of the Dark. Children of Horror. Legion of Ghouls. Tonight, we dedicate this haunted cave tale, final resting place for an urn, to the bard of nightmares, Todd Blackwood, the ear splitting, screaming banshee, Revan, the malevolent cannibal, Max Scherzer, the rising sea beast, David Wellman, the slithering siren, esoteric Gemini, the hunter of the hills, Paul Kate the Third, the vengeful ghoul, or ghouls, ARWCWB, the winged forest devil lurking in the trees, Sharky Sharkums, the chainsaw wielding masked mutant, Carl Meyer, Pan's reigning demon, Ray Swoop, the werewolf, or terrifying knight, or day, Thomas Swafford, the reanimated corpse, Who's all thumbs? Tim Clissel. And, most certainly, to all our children of horror, Legion of Ghouls, this one's yours. Final Resting Place for an Urn by Jeffrey LeBlanc. I walked the ridge with a dead man in tow. He's not a ghost, but someone I did know. Under the celestial stars, we both gazed on the sky. Together, we are finding the perfect grave to let his soul lie. We trekked in life across blazing death valley fast. We both waded ancient swamp where many wouldn't last. Now I summit a cave he never saw until his end. I descend into the darkness that we both called our friend. Crayfish scurry in the cavernous tidal pool. A bullfrog croaks, startling me as a jester's fool. I'm sure Daddy probably pulled a ghostly jest. For cave creatures scurrying will companion his final rest. I turn off the light and sit in this peaceful gloom. Remembering fondly our laughs in this glimmering tomb. I say, Dad, you would have loved this hidden palace of gold. His echo whispers, Son, I'm sorry my health failed and I got old. My eyes are wet, no doubt, from the cavern's fog. For I haven't cried since Dad murdered my dog. He wasn't a perfect father, that I surely can tell, and many would think his final grave is a perfect hell. The bats titter and dart in this cavernous delight, and I walk out to a topaz gemmed starry night. My eyes dry and a peaceful smile on my face. I warn you now, never search for my father's place. 
Daddy lies where he always longed to be. Forced our home to a hunter, a cave his final reprieve. Smiling, dreaming, with leaves crisped and sere under my feet. Knowing one day I too will lie in this splendor, my life complete. One last look at Dad's cave, his eternal resting place. Amazing, the cave's glowing fog follows me apace. Maybe the man who never danced now dances above. Maybe the man who really said it is now showing his love. Thank you for listening. Have a great night. Thank mm-hmm. you.